Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're ready for our vintage other sports category. Put together the top 15 that sold on eBay in the last two weeks. Got a pretty awesome list here. And as always, I got a great set of bonus listings at the end as well. You don't want to miss them. Make sure you stay tuned for those. All right, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, starting us off in the 15th spot from 1995-96 Panini, we have a Ronaldo rookie sticker graded to mint BGS9. This car sold at auction for $1,350, $1,352 actually. There's a pop at 10, and there are 11 graded higher with the highest being one pristine 10. Subgrades were 10 for edges, 9.5 for corners, and 9s for centering and surface. In the 14th spot from 1954 Top Scoop, we have a Ben Hogan, the new Golf King, graded near Mint Mint PSA 8, and it was a fixed price sale for $1,395.95. That's a pop at 8, and a near Mint Mint 8 slab, and there's none graded higher. In the 13th spot from 1948 Leaf, we have Joe Lewis, graded PSA 6. That was a fixed price sale for $1,450. It's a pop of 64. In a PSA 6 slab, there are 71 graded higher with the highest being 1 mint 9. This exact card sold for $689 back in December of 2021. In the number 12 spot from 1958 Aquarela, we have a Pele rookie card blue number graded a PSA 2. This car sold at auction for $1,450.52. It's a pop of 36 and a PSA 2 slab. There are 48 graded higher with the highest being one near mint 7. In the 11th spot from 1986 Panini Super Sport Italian, we have a Mike Tyson rookie sticker graded at PSA 6. That was a fixed price sale for $1,550. It's a pop of 32 in a PSA 6 slab. There are 67 graded higher, with the highest being 3 gem mint 10s. In the number 10 spot from 1935, J.A. Petrio, Sporting Events and Stars, we have a Joe Lewis rookie card graded near mint mint PSA 8 and it sold at auction for $1,558. It's a pop of 47 in the PSA 8 slab. There's 7 graded higher with the highest being 4 mint 9s. In the number 9 spot from 1998 Dual Cards WWF Autographs, we have the Rock Auto Rookie Card with the autograph graded a BGS 9 and it sold at auction for $1,702. No grade for the card, just the autograph grade. In the number eight spot from 1962, Nora Idolos. We have a Pele graded a PSA 2 and it sold at auction for $1,775. That's a pop of one in a PSA 2 slab and there's only one higher graded PSA 3. In the number seven spot from 1988, Max Charlotte. We have the Dale Earnhardt rookie Promo graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $2,100. In a gem in slab, it's a low pop of only 86. In the number six spot from 1962, EDI Milano, we have a Pele blank back graded in SGC 4 and it sold at auction for $2,177. It's a pop one, and that's the highest graded in a tuxedo slab. Over at PSA, there's 16 graded with the highest being one PSA six. In the number five spot from 1960 Hemet's Journal, we have the hand cut Muhammad Ali rookie card graded PSA two. That was a fixed price sale for $2,400. It's a pop of 41 in a PSA two slab. There are 212 graded higher with the highest being one gem in 10. In the number four spot from 1997 Browns Boxing, we have the Floyd Mayweather Jr. rookie card graded gem in SGC 10. 
This car sold at auction for $3,050. It's a Pop 1 in a Gem Mint SGC slab. There's no higher graded gold labels. Over at PSA, it's a Gem Mint PSA 10 Pop of 54 and they sell closer to eight to ten thousand dollars all right time to see we have in the top three but before we do just a quick reminder if you need any hobby supplies check out bcw supplies there's a link in the description box below use the code junkwax10 and save 10 percent on your order and the number three spot from 1998 press pass i'm not too sure about this one we have a dale earnhardt gold ink autograph these are numbered to 100 hand numbered on the back in raw condition, sold at auction for $3,179. Seems like a pretty high sale for one of these, even though it is fairly low numbered. There's quite a few Dale Earnhardt NASCAR autograph cards out there. And another one of these sold a few days later for just $1,000. So, pretty awesome card, but I don't know about the sale. 3000 bucks. In the number two spot from 1982 Wrestling All-Star Series B, we have Greg Gagne graded at Mint PSA 9, sold at auction for $4,150. That's a pop of two in a mint slab and there's none graded higher. In the number one spot, top in the list from 1985 Opeachy, we have Hulk Hogan graded at Mint PSA 9, that was a best offer sale for $5,500. It's a low pop of only 15 in a mint slab, and there's actually only four higher graded gem mint 10s. All right, that's it for the top 15. Let me know in the comments below which one of those were your favorite cards. Also, while you're at it, please take a quick second to hit that like button, and we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get right into our bonus listings. First up, from 1962, we have an Argentinian disc of Ben Hogan, graded a PSA 4, and it was a best offer sale for $1,050. It's a pop of only one in a PSA 4 slab, and there's none graded higher. According to the seller, these were part of a multi-sport set that came in a religious magazine in Argentina. From 1921, W. 551 we have a hand cut jack dempsey in pretty rough condition but still awesome looking card it was a graded a psa authentic sold at auction for 93 dollars it's a pop of 23 and there are 19 graded higher with the highs being one mint nine from 1997 awesome athletes we have the tiger woods rookie year bookmark graded near mint mint psa 8 that was a fixed price sale for 149 dollars and 99 cents it's a pop of 70 in a PSA 8 slab. They're 267 graded higher with the highest being 144 gem mint 10s. From 1976 Nabisco Sugar Daddy Series 2, we have the tennis card with Jimmy Connors graded mint PSA 9. Sold at auction for $34. That's a pop of 4 in a mint slab and there's none graded higher. From 1978, Auto Grill Formula One, we have a hand cut Nikki Lotta, grade is CSG Near Mint Plus 7.5, and it sold at auction for $49.55. It's a pop of only one, and there are none graded higher. From 1987 88, Panini Calciatore, we have a Roberto Baggio, grade at PSA 5, and it sold at auction for $42. It's a pop 5 in a PSA 5, and there are 7 graded higher, with the highest being 1 PSA 8. From 1925, Magnum Cigarettes, we have a Jack Johnson card graded in SGC 5.5, and it was a fixed price sale for $499.99. It's a pop of 2 in a 5.5 slab, and there's 1 higher graded SGC 6. From 1991 Net Pro Tour Stars, we have a prototype strip. It's got some hand numbering on it to 200. However, I don't believe that these were limited to 200 because there's definitely a lot more of these graded. In raw condition, it was the best offer sale for $55. Yeah, P. Sampras and Andre Agassi on the Sun Cut uh, prototype. So just the Andre Agassi, there's 370 graded with the highest being four gem in tens. And the Pete Sampras has 490 graded with six gem in tens. So low pops in the higher grades. 
none of these un none of these graded as an uncut panel though that's it that'd be kind of cool from 1977 bimbo los records del mundo we have secretariat graded psa 1.5 and sold at auction for 57 dollars and 77 cents it's a pop of two in a psa 1.5 slab there's only 18 graded higher with the highest being one near mint seven from 1966-67, Panini Champions of Sport, we have a Eddie Merckx with a Valida back, graded as CSG 1.5, and sold at auction for $31. That's a pop one, and there's none graded higher. From 1956 Record Journal, we have a hand-cut Rocky Marciano, graded in SGC 4.5, and that was a fixed price sale for $199.99. It's a pop one, and there's none graded higher. That's the highest grade with SGC. The highest grade with PSA is one mint nine. From 1927, John Player and Sons football caricatures. We have a Dixie Dean graded in SGC six. That was a fixed price sale for forty-five dollars. It's a pop of five in an SG six slab. There's three graded higher, with the highest being one SGC eight point five. From 1988 Max Charlotte, we have a Bobby Allison graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold auction for $102.50. In a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only 39. From 1968-69 Panini Champions of Sport, we have a Bruce McLaren graded near mint PSA 7. This car sold auction for $31. It's a pop of 4 as a near mint 7 slab. There's 4 graded higher with the highest being 1 mint 9. From 1973 Wrestling Annual Magazine, we have a hand-cut Dory Funk Jr. graded near mint mid PSA 8 and it sold at auction for $42.59. It's a pop of 11 and a PSA 8 slab. There are 12 graded higher with the highest being 1 gem mint 10. From 1992 PGA Tour Pro Set European Tour, we have a VJ Singh graded gem mint PSA 10 sold at auction for $56. It's a pop of 16 in a gem mint slab. From 1971, Manama Stamps. This is a Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier commemorative stamp graded in near mint mint PSA 8 and sold at auction for $86. It's a pop of 10, huge slab. There's 16 graded higher with the highest being 6 gem mint 10. From 1913, Panhandle Scrap World's Champion Athletes. We have a Duke Kahanamoku graded in SGC 1 and sold at auction for $655. It's a pop of 3 in an SGC 1 slab. There's 8 graded higher with the highest being 1 SGC 4. From 1996, Crocky Nibbit Top Shots. We have a Ronaldo graded in Mint PSA 9. And sold at auction for $87. It's a pop of 20 in a mint slab, and there's only three higher graded gem in 10s. From 1997 Browns Boxing, we have a Roberto Duran graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $241.50. It's a pop of only three in a gem mint slab. It's a low pop. From 1986 Sports Star Photo Graphics, we have a Dale Earnhardt graded in near mint PSA 7. That was a fixed price sale for $225. And it's a pop of only two in a near mint 7 slab. There's five graded higher with the highest being three mint nines. From 1997 Idigama Grand Champions of Sport, we have an Evander Holyfield graded gem mint CSG 10. And the sticker sold at auction for $33.55. It's a pop of only one in a gem mint slab. There's no higher gold labels over at PSA. It's the highest graded are four mint nines and one gem mint 10. From 1990 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have a Monica Sellis rookie card graded gem mint PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $1,100. In a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only two. We're going to finish it up with an awesome law. Here's a 1948 Leaf Boxing Complete 49 card set. All cards in raw condition. Sold at auction for $2,012.98. You got Joe Lewis, Jack Dempsey, John Sullivan. There's actually 
50 cards in the 48 leaf set but the Graziano card is impossible to find. The last one sold for $65,000 according to the seller. And there are only a handful known to exist. So according to the seller as well, the Leaf set is considered complete at 49 cards. They put the condition of the cards are VGEX or better. So that'd be pretty good. We had one of those Joe Lewis's in the top 15 and PSA 6 is sold for $1,450. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. Truly appreciate the support. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.